Hey everybody, today's video is a review of the Royal Peach Palette from Kylie Jenner Cosmetics, so if you're interested, please keep on watching. Well, my dog, so loud. Okay, so um, this is the Kylie Peach Palette. I feel like it's been um, a palette that's had a bit of controversy surrounding it based off of um, well, the smell and the quality and things like that, and people feel different ways about it. So I'm gonna touch upon a couple different things that I judge a palette on um, and tell you my thoughts and if I believe it's worth your um, money or not, and if you should purchase it. Now, straight off the bat, this palette sold out fast, um, and I believe it sold out pretty quick during its restock as well. Um, this is, from what I read, a permanent product, so it will be restocked again um, if it's going to be permanent. The front of the palette, the back of the palette. There is, guys, my dog and my cat are chasing each other. Um, this is the inside of the palette. You have your 12 eyeshadows, six on each row. Um, there is a mirror, and then this holds a brush, which I, okay, and here's the brush, guys. So you could see it says, Kylie over there, white brush. Okay quality, nothing special. So I just threw it over there. And I did not use it yet. <laughs> uh, I did wash it though. I did wash the brush. Okay, so back to the palette. Now the first thing I want to address is the smell. Um, my palette just sitting here like this or even just open like this, I don't smell anything. I really, honestly, 100% don't. I am not saying by any means that other people do not smell something at that point. They might have a better sense of smell than me. I am a little cogged, you know, congested, but I really don't smell anything like this. So um, is there a strong chance that people are over exaggerating? Yes, but like I said, their palette may stink more than my palette. Now, if I do purposely smell it, there is a smell to it, kind of like, reminds me of like Home Depot <laughs> or like Sharpies or something like that. Um, it smells like packaging to me. I'm not really concerned about it. Um, I still use this palette, um, and I'm still going to use this palette. It does not personally bother me. It might, maybe if it was more intense it would, but like I said, I only smell it if I literally like sniff the palette. It, it just being in my hand or close to my face, I smell nothing. So I actually have to smell it to smell anything. I like to smell that scent people are talking about and it is a chemical scent but like chemicals are in most makeup honestly to some degree i'm just i'm not really concerned about it so these are the colors that you get in this palette i am wearing this palette today um and i do like this palette is it my favorite no is it the best quality in the world no but is it good i say yes so um, pretty much, uh, something I like to judge a palette off of is the consistency of the shadows, and I think that the consistency of these is nice. It's not the most buttery shadow in the world, but it's nice, and they are pigmented. I will show you how I'm rubbing, because I know some people, like, swatched it and acted like there was nothing. Some swatched it and acted like it was amazing, but, like... Maybe, maybe they're not consistent, like I said, but I am getting color payoff. Um, and then let me show you on my hand. Those are two of the shades. This one's really light, so it's close to my skin tone, but you can see with the other one, I'll show you the green. All right, that one's coming up a little light here, but I mean, they are buildable and you can put you could keep putting more and build up that color, no problem. Just wipe that off a bit. So, would I say these are the most pigmented eyeshadows in the world? Absolutely not. Are they decent pigment? Yes. I think they work fine and I think they are buildable. Um, I actually am a fan of Kylie Cosmetics because I think, I don't know, just the image and the packaging and everything is more my style and I, I like it, <laughs> as silly as that sounds. Like, I, I just like how it looks. I like her stuff. Um, I like her liquid lipsticks. 
Um, for example, like Too Faced, like super girly like that, not really so much my speed. Um, I do use some of Too Faced products. I think they make good stuff, but like their palettes, like I had a few like a couple years ago and I gave them all away, I think to like my sister or something, just cause they don't, they don't get me excited. This does get me excited. Something else I notice um, a lot of people complaining about with this palette is the blue. Everyone's saying the blue doesn't belong. Um, it makes no sense with the other colors, blah, 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 blah. Um, as a cosmetologist, and I consider myself to some degree an artist, um, if you know the color wheel, opposite colors are complementary to each other. They make each other pop. That's why... Um, you know, traffic lights are red and green because even people who are colorblind can see the contrast between the two colors or um, a lot of sports teams use opposite colors. You'll see like um, Vikings use purple and yellow, for example, or Mets blue and orange. Those are opposite colors. So peach to me falls in an orangey pinky family. It's a little more orange. I think if it was a little more pinky, it would be more of a coral than a peach. So I think the blue eyeshadow makes a ton of sense actually in this palette. I think the contrast between the warm and the cool are from the orangey shade to the blue being opposites on the spectrum of color makes a lot of sense because it's going to pop like intensely against the orange. And I think the fact that they put a vivid blue in here is awesome. It speaks to me personally. It's wonderful. I think it was a smart move. Um, Maybe for some people it's a bit out of their comfort zone, but I think it's I think it's fun and I think it adds something a little different to the palette. I'm definitely not hating on that blue shade being in here. I'm actually very happy about it and I do think it makes sense um, from an artistic um, point of view and I like it. Now the next thing I'd like to judge a palette off of is can I make a complete look or complete looks with a palette. For me, with this palette, for the most part, yes. I don't see a shade in here that I technically would highlight with, but what I did today is I just popped a little bit of my face highlight under my eyebrow, um, on that brow bone, just a pinch, and that's fine. So I can live with that. You do have two decent transition shades in this palette. This top one here, and then this second one in on the bottom row there, which are Sorbet and Sandy. So Sorbet, Sandy. So to me, um, those could both be decent transition shades. Even Peachy can be somewhat of a transition shade. Um, but I think this one is great for that. Um, this color is kind of slightly close to my natural skin tone, especially being tanned right now. So it doesn't show up as well, but it does make a nice base to blend and transition your color. Oh, geez. Transition your colors um, for your eyeshadow look. I think there is a ton of different looks you could do with this palette. For example, I have like the peachy and cinnamon um, shades in my crease today with the Queen Bee, I think it's called, like this gold shade on my lid. And I really like this look. My makeup is simple, but like fresh. And I think it looks really pretty and warms me up with my icy um, hair. So I really, I really like that. Um, you could do, I saw somebody do a beautiful blue halo eye with this palette, and that was really pretty. Um, Jeffree Star popped some of that green in that front corner of his eye. I really like Jeffree Star. Is anybody else Jeffree Star fans? <laughs> Thumbs up if you are. Um, he popped some of that green in the front of his eye, and I was like, ooh, that's fun. That's different, so I'll probably do some kind of look with that. You could smudge the purple on top of a purple eyeliner for under your eye, or the same with the blue, like on the front of that palette. Um, you could go more neutral by using the peachy and more bronzy brown shades. You could break out another palette and work it in with this palette. So I think there is a lot of diversity with this palette. Do I, do I think um, you could get better quality? Yeah, but do I think it's worth $42? 42? I think it was 45. Do I think it was worth $45 to me? Yeah, I really actually like this palette. Um, I do wish it was a little creamier, a little more pigmented, but it's by no means bad pigmentation. Like, I don't know how people are saying it's bad or like there's dozens. Uh, you saw what I just did. I didn't like dig my finger in or nothing. I mean, when you rub it on your hand, maybe it's not as vivid as it is on my finger, but let's be real, a lot of shadows aren't and I don't really care because it, at least that shows me there's enough pigment that I could build it up. And I get it, like you spend $45 on a palette, maybe you don't want to work that hard. But, I don't know. 
To me, it's a decent palette. The smell isn't that strong. It's versatile, you can make many looks. The blue offers a high contrast option against all the orangey, peachy shades. I think it's warm and pretty for spring. So, um, yeah, I would say it's, it's a go. I give it a thumbs up, I like it. Out of five stars, I'd give it a, ooh. For the palette itself, like colors and ideas and like how I feel, I just think it's so cute, I'll give it like a four. But for quality, I'll give it a 3.5. But I, I overall, I'd give it a thumbs up. I would um, purchase this palette and I enjoy it. So that is my short but sweet review on the Kylie Royal Peach Palette. I hope this was somewhat informative for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you don't agree with my opinions, that is fine. That's why they're opinions. I um, do really appreciate you guys watching my video though. Um, I hope that you will subscribe and come see me in my next video. Uh, and I plan to purchase a lot more from Kylie. Um, I'm actually really into like her stuff. I think it's kind of cute. I think the packaging is cute. I like the boldness. So if you want to see more videos of me reviewing Kylie products, just uh, go ahead and like this video, subscribe, let me know in the comment section. I always try to reply as much as I can to you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So pretty though. Ooh. My eyeshadow looks faded. It's too bright in here. Does that help? Oh god. No. Down. Up. Down. New mirror confusion. Whoa. I don't know. <sighs>